asked very often how I deal with stress in my working life and nerves before performances, and I'm going to be completely honest with you and tell you that I have no answer to this. I think I seem quite chilled out and calm on camera, but in real life, I'm a bit of a mess. <laughs> Don't get me wrong, I love my job. It's amazing, I wouldn't want to do anything else even if I was paid millions and millions and squillions of pounds. Maybe. It doesn't stop, it's relentless. And stuff like getting a decent amount of sleep, doing grocery shopping, eating that grocery shopping, all the normal stuff you're supposed to do within 24 hours, it kind of gets left to the bottom of my priority list and I start to stress. But although I don't have any tips or solutions on how to get rid of nerves completely and how to eradicate stress from your lives entirely, I do have some tips on how to deal with it all a little bit better. For one, voice that you're nervous. Whenever I'm like stood in the wings before a one-off concert about to go on, I always say, I am so nervous. And people look at me like, what? They always say, but you do this all the time. But usually, they then confess to me that they're really nervous too, and that makes me feel less alone and more comfortable knowing that I'm around people who are also just as terrified as I am. Whenever I do one-off performances and concerts as well, I always have a habit of telling my audience how nervous I am, but it kind of helps to get them on side a little bit. It's like they want me to do well from that point onwards to prove that I had nothing to be nervous about in the first place. I don't know, just... Talking, communication, that thing I'm always on about, it helps, all right? Two, try not to think about anything else other than the dance moves you're doing, the lines you are saying, and the song you are currently singing. I am a pro at having my brain sing a completely different song or completely different lyrics to the song I am currently actually singing. Or I start to replay in my head the scenarios in which things have previously gone wrong and I start to freak out. Force your brain only to think of what you're doing now and what you're about to do next. Nothing else. Three, the theatre I work in is warm at the best of times, but then I'm also wearing three costumes at the same time at the start of the show. And then I also get really freaking nervous. So I get mega sweaty, like, disgustingly sweaty. Like, you'd never want to hug me after a show, and I feel bad for the people who meet me at stage door afterwards, because I am disgusting. I'm also covered in, like, fake blood and fake dirt, and it's just gross. Attractive. So tip number three is have a good, reliable deodorant in your bag at all times. My bag is currently, like, Mary Poppins carpet bag. It has everything. In fact, my nan has a bag that we call her just in case bag because she has everything in that bag just in case. Like for any possible scenario that could happen throughout her day, she has something in her bag for that occasion. It's the just in case bag. And my rucksack has turned into that. I have emergency tea bags. I have deodorant. I have mini razors, I have toothpaste and a toothbrush, I have underwear. Surprisingly, it's not that heavy. But whilst we're on this tip, a good deodorant is such a good idea. I was recently told about Shaw's deodorant, which is called Stress Control. I was instantly like, okay, show me what it is. I need to know. Shaw Maximum Protection is a cream that absorbs into your skin, and it's different to other deodorants I've tried because it forms a barrier against sweat. And in fact, it's best to use it the night before, and then it will last for the whole day the next day, even if you have a shower. Which is great for someone who is as forgetful as me, and who spends very little time at home. I literally wake up, roll out of bed, do very, very quick necessary things, and then go. Which means I forget everything. Which is why I have a just-in-case bag because it's all in the bag if I ever forget anything. And this is also great for me considering I get covered in blood and dirt and have to have a shower every show. If I know that my deodorant's gonna stay on throughout that shower, it's kind of perfect. So many people think it's really glitzy and glamorous backstage. Four, water. Always keep a bottle of water with you at all times. And I don't just mean like a bottle of water that you can just buy from the local news agents. I mean invest in an actual proper sizable, reusable water container. All my water bottles that I just buy from like the news agents get chucked away by the cleaners because they think I'm not going to use them again and I do use them again so I'm going to have to invest in a new proper water bottle. I did have a Wreck-It Ralph water bottle but that got chucked away. That just disappeared after two years of it being on the same shelf it's always been on. And I don't know where it went and it's really upsetting so I'm going to have to get a new one. And finally five. It's my personal favourite one. Always go for several nervous wheeze before a performance. I performed at the British Summertime Festival a few weeks ago and I forgot 
I forgot to go for a nervous wee and by the time I went on stage I was desperate for a wee and I had to sing Let It Go twice whilst preoccupied by the fact that I thought I was going to wet myself on stage in front of thousands of people. So try and avoid that. Go for a nervous wee. Seriously. I think I'm quite good at hiding nerves, which is why people think I don't get nervous. I think I'm like a duck. It's probably why they're my favourite animal. I think I'm really calm and collected on the surface, but inside, in my brain, I'm going, Oh my god, you don't know what you're doing! Ha ha ha! Much like a duck is very calm on the surface of the water, but underneath is like paddling away. I don't think I've ever worked with anyone who doesn't get nervous either, because getting nervous just means you care a lot about what you're doing and you don't want to screw it up. I know the moment that I've stopped sweating about what I'm doing is the moment I've stopped caring about what I'm doing which is a moment I hope never comes. So I personally think it's not about getting rid of nerves, it's just about hiding them better and getting control of them better. But don't ever let the nerves beat you. Don't ever do something just because you think you're gonna be really nervous about it. Do it anyway. Because when you go on stage, even if something goes wrong, at least you then have the consolation prize of saying, do you know what, at least I tried and I've gained some experience. If you don't even try, you get no consolation prize and you'll just be very sad that you let the fear and nerves win. So I may not have the answer to getting rid of stress and nerves, but as one very stressed out and nervous person, I can tell you that even with being stressed out and nervous, you can still do everything you want to do anyway. The definition of body shaming is pretty self-explanatory. It's shaming someone for their body type.